I'm Zoe Romanowski with Alatia Media, and I'm speaking with Tracy Melchior, who stars in the film Do You Believe, recently released by Pure Flix Entertainment in association with 10 West. Tracy, thank you for your time today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. For viewers who have not seen this movie yet, can you give me a brief overview of what Do You Believe is about? Do You Believe is about, in a nutshell, it's like 12 lives that intersect. That's what ever you can read online. But what I would say about it is it's showing us how each of us is an important little thread in the weave of life. And it just reminds us how each of us has a significance and how life might not make sense to us even during our time here, but uh, uh, God has a plan and it's all perfectly planned. What drew you personally to this script? Honestly, I um, missed an audition for God's Not Dead, technical error through my agent, and I had done two other previous films with Pure Flix. And so when God's Not Dead came out and was so successful, I was like emailing David White, who's one of the producers, and Billy Tomoto, who's the casting agent. I'm like, really? The one audition I miss and it's your bust out hit? What's wrong with you? <laughs> and I'm like, gosh. So, um, Right after I sent that email, they said, well, as luck would have it, we're doing another one with the same writers if you want to audition for it. And so um, for me, it was, you know, just a no brainer. Before I even read the script, I knew I would be interested just based on God's Not Dead. But then after reading it, I was like, oh, my gosh, praying so hard. And I even have a picture of me and my girlfriends um, at a birthday party. They're like putting hands on me like letter because it was taking a while for the call back. And I just really felt drawn and uh, wanting to do it. I want to ask you what the most challenging moment was in your role of playing Grace, the wife of uh, Reverend Matthew, who's played by Ted McKinley. What, what did you draw from uh, in that moment from your own life to, to nail it? Um, well, I won't say that much about that because I don't want to be a, a, you know, a spoiler here because um, if I describe that scene, it might give away some of the end okay. of the movie. But, um, the, the end of the movie scene, which you guys will see, that's where it's one of those movies where you kind of got to stick with it. It's a little, I mean, not I, a little convoluted at the beginning. You're like, what? There's like 12 stories you're trying to follow. So you got to kind of stick with it. And at the end, it all comes together. And um, in those final scenes for me, um, the challenge was you put so much pressure on yourself to want to honor those scenes, you know, and do them right. And um, so just getting away from that, focusing on the characters involved. And um, I don't know, what did I draw from? Let me see if I can say it without giving away the... Um, <laughs> it, it, for me, it's just children. I mean, kids and babies and children are such a huge heart for me um, that that's what I draw on, my, my love for kids and the, the, the ones who don't have a voice for themselves. Tracy, what impact do you hope this film will have? I hope, well, professionally, I hope Hollywood just sees that you can make films without, um, you know, the nudity, the bad language, and um, all of those things that um, Hollywood seems to think you need to make money. Um, I hope that they see that. That's professionally. And then personally, I hope that people who aren't believers will be introduced to the faith and understand that um, Christians aren't perfect. And I, I think that Christians are known for kind of shooting their own army and others are always ready to find fault. Like there's a reward in it. Like, oh, there's a Christian and they messed up and see, see, it's not a, and they forget it's about the, it's not about the messenger. It's about the message. And um, I hope this film shows people that it's, it's the message, not the messengers. We're just messengers and we're not perfect. And, um, but um, and also just, there, there's just so many, I, I mean, every message about Christianity, I feel like is kind of compacted in here. Um, you know, just things like being a Christian doesn't mean God's your little, you know, magic genie that you're like, okay, I'm going to pray for this and get my magic wish. That's not what being a Christian is about either. And, um, you know, that Christians struggle and have crises of faith themselves sometimes. Tracy Melchior, thank you for speaking with Alatia today about Do You Believe? Thank you.